I told him, give it back to me so I can have it for the shoot. Drake, I promise once I'm done with GQ, it's coming right back to you. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jason Arashavan. I'm CEO of Jason of Beverly Hills. We are the go-to jeweler for some of the world's biggest celebrities, athletes, socialites, royalty. This is GQ on the rocks. I've always made very crazy over the top pieces and I've had a lot of clients that have made ridiculous requests. Listen, we've done diamond door plates for Michael Jackson when he was alive. I had a request from a client to do a diamond fish tank that we did. We had a request from a client that asked for a huge Jesus head, but instead of Jesus wanted to have his own face in there, that one I had to say no to. It's sacrilegious, I'm not gonna do it. The two things that I love are being creative and meeting new people. And I've picked the best job in the world because I get to do both. Sometimes we have different celebrities that will come bring their watch collection to us and have us kind of put our touch to it. And this particular watch was a Patek Philippe that Drake owns. And he brought it to us and he says, I just want to go crazy. I want to do something no one else has done. And he said, like, what are some of the rarest, most expensive stones you can find? And I told him, I said, you know, pinks and blues are the rarest and definitely the most expensive. Somebody like Drake, when he hears that no one else has it, he's gonna go for it. So these are all natural pink diamonds. These are all from the Argyle mine in Western Australia. And it's one of the only mines that produce these colors of pink. They go over half a million dollars for just the diamonds. That particular mine is supposed to be completely done in 2021. So naturally the prices of pinks have gone up considerably. We actually have an operational lighter ring, 18 karat gold, over seven carats of diamonds. Diamonds going all the way around and guess what? You could light your cigarette, your cigar, or whatever else you want to smoke. This is going to be able to take care of it. This is made up of about 17 different components that all have to be put together, match perfectly in order for it to work the way it works. A lot of our pieces that we make, I like to make in very limited edition. The worst thing in the world is you're walking down the street and you see someone wearing the exact same thing you're wearing. This particular piece, we're only making five and that's it. I don't care if we have a line out front of our stores with more people wanting it, we really want to limit production to five pieces. This particular piece here is $12,950. Lighting fluid included. <laughs> our diamond lock and key. You have 18 karat gold with flawless baguette diamonds and round diamonds on the key. The key actually opens up the lock. You take it out or lock it back up. Probably not TSA approved, but who knows? Something like this, you're looking at about $35,000. This one's not too bad, but I got something for you that's gonna have a nice hefty price tag on it. Let's see, let's see. Okay, what I'm gonna show you here is something very important, something very different, something very rare that you're not gonna see many times in your lifetime, if at all. One of my very, very wealthy overseas clients who happens to be in a royal family called me up and said, I see all these rings you're making for these different celebrities, but I wanna do something that just completely demolishes anything you've done before. So we went and we sourced one particular stone fitting of that. The only one in the world with these exact specs, a 30 carat pear shaped diamond. There is only one. This is a one of one, there is no other. But this particular client demanded that of me. This is over $5 million in this single stone. We're gonna be using this stone to build the most insane, out of this world, men's pinky ring in the history of men's pinky rings. We are actually taking this ring out and much like many of our things, we went through an entire design process. We are finishing it up now. This stone will be placed in the ring next week and I'll be flying overseas to go make the delivery. Our team is designing it on the computer right now so you guys can see that because it's super dope. Let's go check out the design. I wanna show you how it looks. So over here, we're doing a 3D rendering where we're laying out all the stones, how they're gonna be arranged, and we're laying it out over here so that we get the realest picture image of what the final product's gonna look like. But what makes his ring so unique is the message that he has on the side to everyone. His ring says, fuck you money. And listen, if you're gonna spend $6 million on a single ring, I guess you could write whatever it is that you wanna write. So these are also men's pinky rings that are a little bit different. This one you have a six karat fancy yellow with all pear shapes going down. 18 karat gold, six karat yellow, GIE certified. Something like this, you're looking at around $300,000. 
over here, we had a client that reached out to us. He wanted to make a ring that kind of resembled the outline of downtown LA and the streets and the map and really loved the mosaic setting that we did. So we kind of designed this ring for him, which has diamonds going all the way around, 18 karat, yellow gold, all flawless diamonds with baguettes and Asher cuts and princess cuts and rounds going around the entire shank. I really enjoy Asher cuts. I feel like those are my favorite right now just because there's not that many people using them. And we actually employed those particular cuts in the large OVO owl for Drake. And that's why he loved it so much because he wanted to have something that didn't have the same kind of diamonds that everyone else is using. I was blessed enough in 2009 to start doing the Lakers championship rings. And then the last three Warrior championship rings we were able to do as well. These are the last two rings. When you're building a ring for a championship team, you have to make everyone happy. Each and every player, to the ownership, to the fans. And you need a ring that kind of tells the story of the journey the team went through for that particular ring. This is the 2017 ring, which went down in championship ring history as the most amount of diamonds on any championship ring across the four major sports. We have over 1,100 stones total, over 11 carats of diamonds. In 2018, we felt like we needed to kind of outdo ourselves, so we created this ring. Some of the players really liked the blue, some of the players really liked the white. Being that it was a back-to-back -back championship, I thought it would be a unique thing to have a reversible top. So if you actually see here, this top clicks out. You can change the blue to white, click it back in, and there we go. So this here is the Dunamis Hubris, and this is unique in that it's a 46 millimeter case. It has floating diamonds on the inside. It has a baguette channel set bezel, 18 karat white gold, Swiss made, 27 jewel, skeleton dial, luminescent hands. It truly is a masterpiece. And these are limited to 300 pieces. This particular watch goes for $39,000. This one here has floating diamonds and kind of like the DNA behind our brand. And one of the first things I did when I first started designing pieces, I really, really was enamored by the way floating diamonds looked when they weren't inhibited by any metals or setting gold or anything like that. I just love the free loose floating diamonds. I thought it had tons of brilliance. It's in constant motion and that motion kind of gives it a little bit more life. And it's kind of over the years been what we've been known for. So over here, this is our signature connected collection. And I truly felt like everyone is connected in some way. I have friends from all walks of life. I have friends that are older, younger, from different backgrounds and different religions. I mean, I made it for myself originally. You see, I'm wearing the bracelet here and a lot of people really, really enjoyed it. And it's been one of our best sellers now. What started the business is me just being creative and trying to design stuff that I thought was cool for myself. This is actually my personal set of diamond keys. I created this all 18 karat yellow gold with flawless white diamonds adorning the keychain as well as the hook. And over here I could just take my keys and they basically are uniform. They fit each and every key you have. So I could put my office keys, I put my home keys and I just click them in here and put them in my pocket. This way I could travel in style. I'll tell you what. It already is terrible if you lose your keys, but if you lose your diamond keys, that's even worse. I have my own wedding band over here. My wife makes sure that I never forget it. She always wants to make sure it's on. I have a problem of being very fidgety. My kids came home one day with those fidget spinners and I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't get rid of it. I loved it, I, I kept using it. So I made my wedding band a fidget spinner where it just, it just rotates like this with my fingers. So I sit here all day long and instead of biting my nails or something else, I'm able to just use my ring as a therapeutic device. This is another interesting piece that we created and it has an Egyptian theme. And it's just something I was inspired. I traveled to Egypt, I came back and on the plane ride home, I started designing different things. And this is our Nefertiti pendant. It's Nefertiti and it's got the hieroglyphics in the back and it's got a very architectural shape, 18 karat gold, flawless white diamonds. You have a total price of 15,000. You know, what makes this piece kind of unique is when I was in Egypt, I was able to get some of the sand and brought it back and had it incorporated into the piece. So instead of floating diamonds, we have the floating sand. It's something different. It's memorabilia back to when I did my traveling and whoever wears it can kind of feel that kind of spirit behind it. Oftentimes we love to do collaborations. I love collaborating with other creatives. And this one is with Alba Series, an artist and a client of mine for the last 10 years. We took the all-knowing painting that he had done and we kind of created a limited 33-piece collection. 
Each and every piece comes with its own box, hand painted by Albasir. This is the pendant and it's made up of seven different pieces. And you can see it's constructed on the back with a serial number listing one of 33 or two of 33. Flawless white diamonds going around a little over a carat. It's one of my favorite pieces. I love the colors too. The color is what kind of brings it out. Over here, me and a gentleman by the name of Chris Stamp got together and we wanted to do a collaborative effort creating a capsule collection of jewelry that's not necessarily something you would wear, not a bracelet, not a ring, but something that can be in more of an art piece, something that could be placed on a desk. And one of our pieces that we've done here is a Lego set. These are all operational Lego pieces, 18 karat white gold with diamonds, all flawless diamonds over here. Each and every one comes in a set. It's a limited production of 50 sets and it's due to release later on this year. Something like this, you're looking at around 25,000. And they actually... They all click together, yeah. You can build your own little robot. So this is our diamond syringe pendant. It was also a collaboration we did with Marcus Molinari. We have a ring as well. This is part of our addictive collection and it's kind of a play on words. It has floating rubies on the center, 18 karat white gold, over two carats of white diamonds going around and it's kind of just a fun, fun piece along with other addictive collection pieces that we've done. We've sold pieces like this to Rihanna, to Katy Perry has purchased it, Lindsay Lohan's purchased this, so we've had countless celebrities that actually have really taken to our creativity. Everyone has a vice, and it doesn't necessarily play to the drug aspect, but it plays to the, the ideology of addiction, whether you have an addiction to shopping, like my wife. To be quite honest with you, my addiction's always been diamonds. My addiction's always been being creative, so this really embodies my creative spirit, this particular collection. A lot of people don't know that the majority of rubies are more expensive than diamonds. When you get into high quality rubies and you see the Burmese rubies and the dark pigeon blood red rubies, you're starting to see Hollywood and the entertainment industry really embrace that too. Just recently we sold green emerald ring to Big Sean and ASAP Rocky, we're doing a whole collection with him, a necklace for him with all different color stones. So they, we're getting a lot of clients requesting that and you didn't see that five years ago. We're known for a lot of the over-the-top extravagant engagement rings and like everyone at one point or another usually has to pop that important question, will you marry me? And I love being a part of that process. I get to sit down with my client and we got to create and design a ring that really embodies the taste and the identity of the person he or she is proposing to. So this particular ring here is a 17 karat stone. You're talking about H color VVS1 clarity with all U setting coming all the way around over here and you're looking at a price of something like this is approaching $1 million. When you present this ring, you're not hoping for a no, that's for sure. We had a client that had come to us and wanted to get all one carat BS1 GIA certified white diamonds for a cross and a necklace. 18 karat gold and you're looking at over $600,000 for this particular necklace. It is truly something special here just to be able to source the stones and get every stone exactly the same color, the same diameter, the same millimeter, the same clarity and kind of match them and sort them together. That's a task in itself. People don't understand how much work goes behind not only designing these pieces, but sourcing them. And finding a diamond like this 30 karat diamond, it's not something you make one call and you get it. It means getting on a plane. It means traveling across the globe. It means going to places maybe you don't want to go. You have to really scour the earth to find the proper diamond for your client. I have absolutely no idea when I design something whether or not it's going to sell. And to be quite frank, I really don't care. I started making these crazy pieces just because I could and it was fun. And I didn't think that anyone else would actually enjoy it until that first day, eight years ago, we opened our store and we had clients walking in and buying pieces I thought they would never buy. I realized I was onto something.